Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Top 3 Tech. With the news of the 4090 just releasing and the Intel Arc A770 releasing as well, it seems like Nvidia and Intel have gotten all the news. Well, let's not forget about AMD and their XFX 5210 AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT. This was on sale for $300. Um, prices might go up or down depending on when you watch this, but this is a great competitor to that Intel Arc A770. And let's see how this performs. But before we go to the benchmarks, I'm gonna do an unboxing and show the contents inside to help you guys with your purchase. Come on. All right, guys, let's see what's inside. I unsealed it, haven't checked out the contents yet, but I have a feeling I know what is inside of here. I've gotten a bunch of XFX GPUs in the past, so they're all very similar from the 6500 to the 6900 XT. Comes with the warranty card, the quick installation guide. Look at that. Just to let you know how to remove GPU and how to install it, just in case you don't know. A little quick guide of the rest of it. We have this paper telling you stop important driver information. No driver disk included in this product. Please connect to the internet to download the latest drivers to receive all the latest optimizations and bug fixes. Please visit one of the following websites to download the latest driver package and software. Um, normally I just type in uh, AMD 6650 XT driver and it'll take you to the newest uh, driver on AMD's website. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. And of course, we got the 6650 XT dual fan. But let's take it out of here, get a closer look, and check out the specs. This is a dual fan card that measures 241 millimeters in length. We don't have any paint or RGB logo on the back, but we do have the XFX logo cut out. We have the Radeon logo painted in white. It is an 8 pin socket. It does have the BIOS switch, which is not on the XFX Speedster Swift core. And then of course, this is the XFX logo painted in white as well. Here we see three 1.4 display ports, one 2.1 HDMI slot, and then of course the XFX logo. Since I have the GPUs on hand, we're gonna go ahead and compare them to the 6650 XT. We have a couple brands in a couple different tiers. Right here we have the Sapphire Pulse RX 6800, the non-XT. Right here we have the Sapphire Nitro Plus Special Edition 6800 XT. And then we have the EVGA um, Featherwind 3 Ultra 3070 Ti. And of course we have the XFX Swift 6650 XT. So if you look at here, this is a non-RGB card. It just has these red lines on it. Sapphire Pulse logo in the middle. We have the Sapphire Nitro. These fans light up. It has the RGB. It has this little gray um, trim on it on the side. That one has um, the LEDs in the front. And then of course we have this EVGA for the Win 3370 Ti. It's got the EVGA logos right here in the center. It's got the little EVGA logos on the fan blades, which is nice. These little dots and this LED bar up here, it lights up with the RGB. So two cards with um, RGB and then two without them. As you can see, this is the dual fan, the rest are triple fans. So it is a little smaller, much nicer for compact PCs, especially since it doesn't light up. Um, you don't really need a side panel for it, but it's nice to look at your GPUs anyways. This is probably the most important view just because um, this is what most people will be looking at in their PC cases, since um, not a lot of people do vertical mount compared to how they are traditionally in there. But as you can see, this has no RGB on the back. It, does, it has the XFX. Like previously stated, since it is um, one fan shorter, it doesn't have a heat vent like the rest of these. I mean, it does have the little XFX cutout, which allows for the air to breathe out. Um, these are all also, this one's 8 pin socket, the rest are 16 pin. This one just says Radeon and XFX, it doesn't light up. This one says Sapphire on the bottom left, Radeon on the bottom right. 
this one has a radio on on the bottom left sapphire logo lights up right there and then the evga bar um says g force rtx 3070 ti on the logo there as well and then this kind of has the red trim which makes it look like an amd card but they're all nice cards in their own respective way um i really like the design of that but obviously this one's my favorite but the xfx one's not too bad especially if you have um no led or rgb fans and an all black build or if um, you have a side panel that doesn't have we are going to go ahead and put this in the pc case before we go to the benchmarks just want to let you know it is a lee and lee land cool too it's a pretty big case so it can fit many cards it should have no problem with this one let's go ahead and set it inside and see how it looks this is how it looks like installed and with the lights on not too shabby like i said if uh you don't have any leds it'll probably look nice anyways as it's NVMe that lights up, so it looks like it gives it a little glow. But it should have no problem fitting in your PC case. Since, like I said, the Lean Lee Line Cool 2 fits a good majority of cards. Look how um, big that gap is. I just put my little Hennessy bottle there just to help it out. This GPU bracket is not needed whatsoever. This card doesn't weigh anything. There's no sag. But let's go ahead and go on to the benchmarks, you guys. Before we go any further, let me go ahead and introduce you to the top 3 tech PC specs. We have an ASUS X570 Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. We have a Ryzen 7 5800X. We have 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 3200 MHz. And of course, we're going to be testing the XFX Speedster Swift 210 AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT. It has a boost clock of 2635 MHz. It has a game clock of 2410 MHz. A core clock of 2055 MHz. It is running 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. It is on the RDNA 2 architecture. And the recommended minimum wattage PSU for this would be 500 watts.
So I have mixed thoughts on this card. It is a pretty good card, especially the, for being a 6650 XT. Um, that's not where I have bad ideas on it. But first, let's go with the positives. Um, I do like that it does perform pretty well. It's um, up there with... It beats up the 3060 in most games, unless the LSS is on. And um, it's not too far behind from a 3060 Ti, depending on the game. But when we go to that, that's where the price comes in. Um, it doesn't make too much noise compared to, I mean, any other GPUs. They get as loud as this does. But it does range from 1080p from 90 to 120 frames per second at ultra. Uh, if you lower the settings or depending on what CPU you have, you might get different results. At 1440p, you get from 60 to 75 frames per second depending on the game. Except for Cyberpunk, that one is more demanding. But um, now the only problems I have with this card is that it's compared well for price wise i got it for 300 on sale but the merc was the same price and um the merc keeps being the same price as this card and if that keeps happening i would definitely recommend that especially because this has no um leds or rgb and this actually ran a little hotter than the merc and that was a triple fan as well so unless you don't have space for this i would, I would definitely recommend for that I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> I would definitely recommend that over this because the 6650 XT Merc has the three fans. And um, also, if this card is over $300, I would not get it. I would probably recommend getting the Gigabyte Gaming OC, which I have seen for $285 to $265, or the Gigabyte Gaming Eagle, or not the Gaming, the Gigabyte Eagle, which is um, around the same price, $280, $265, depending on what sales they have. So, any 6650 under $300, I would probably hop on it. If they're all the same price, well, I would just recommend the one with the best features or the one that has more LED and RGB. But this is a good card on its own. Um, like I said, the performance is great. But if it's the same price as the Merc, get that. Or if there's other 6650 XTs that are cheaper, maybe hop on that. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. Sorry about the stuttering. I have a freaking fly in here. But I hope you guys have a good one and peace. Thank you for watching another video from Top 3 Entertainment. Um, I hope you hit like and subscribe. Also, I'm gonna have a recommended playlist, a recommended video right here, so make sure to click that as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in, whether it be to the Top 3 Tech, Top 3 Gaming, or the Why Not Me podcast. You guys are dope. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And of course, let's grow this thing together. Peace. Peace. Peace.